blonde or silver spine? It's green versus orange, orange versus green. Oh my! Sherry, did you notice anything strange about that commercial? No, Phil. I was too busy rebuilding our desk. Now hand me that two by three. That Robocop was just like Robophilia. Lots of robots look the same. They're mass produced. Now let's get back to the show. I'm going to investigate. Fine. Whatever you want, it's your week. Just don't get yourself decapitated. Sundar, isn't it about time for your forecast? <laughs> Oh, indubitably, Sherry. My apologies for the delay. I've just been having, oh, uh, a few fun placations with my new assistant. Oh, oh my, no worries. Oh. oh, yes, sorry for sticking you with the light shark today. I'll have Robophilia oh. take him tomorrow. No worries, Sherry. Everything's wonderful, magical, lovely. <laughs> Well, lovelies, I must admit, I was fibbing just a moment ago. Everything's not lovely. Particularly not if you are mixed up in that blue ha ha between green and orange. <laughs> oh no, in that case, you are quite possibly dead or in horrible agony. Oh my! Yes, the war rages on, and it is worse than I feared. While I prepare a demonstration, the Eye of Eyes will explain. Eye of Eyes, roll the montage. That's not the montage! Stop playing games or I'll rip the orange right out of you! <laughs> I only comply with requests in rhyme. Are you trying to make me angry? Affirmative. It also appears that my attempts have been successful. <laughs> oh, no worries. Now, about that montage. Oh, eye of eyes, you see the scene. Against their will, they fight and bleed. Reveal to us those orange and green. As you say. I must obey. These two figurines were total strangers with no reason to hate one another. But then, their pants made them mortal enemies. Even minuscule traces can affect behavior. These green-eyed pinchbots were distracted from their initial prey by a small patch of orange. Related hues have also been affected. These two good friends became vaguely annoyed at one another because they were wearing lime green and orangish yellowish. If you want to survive until White's Day, change into neutral colored clothes and hide in a cave. Of course, not everyone can change their color so easily. Master Silverspine is struggling with his green demons. Let's see if he's succumbed <laughs> Take that, you fiendish carrots! <laughs> Oh my! Excuse me for slipping away there. Ah, so I have brought our leg shark correspondent to this pumpkin patch to demonstrate the effects of wearing clothing during a color war. It's widely believed that leg sharks will eat anything they can get their jaws around. And though they eat many things that other creatures would find repulsive or inedible, leg sharks can be picky eaters. The favorite food in all of Figuria is the head melon. They will eat practically anything shaped like a head melon. Crystal balls, skulls, Figurian heads, bombs, rickety blockety blue balls, lamp bulbs, you name it. Try to feed them one of these despicable pumpkins, though, and they steadfastly refuse, as they are quite allergic to them. However, if we put this wonderful, magical, green hat on his fin, the leg shark is instantly overwhelmed with righteous green vengeance. Crush them good, Legsley. Destroy the heretical orange spheres. <laughs> oh my, I seem to be losing my grip. So much for impartial reportage. <laughs>
<laughs> no one makes a fool of green. We shall rain destruction down upon Orange and all its followers. <laughs> Let's find something bigger and oranger to destroy. <laughs> Sherry, don't make me do the rest of the show this way. I, I feel so... exposed. Maybe you should have thought of that before you tore the desk apart. It's not my fault. I was just doing what Robert said. So you finally remembered his name? Whose name? <sighs> Tune in again tomorrow for the latest news, weather, and sports. Only on the Nightly News at 9 with Phil and Sherry. Bringing you the stories that matter to us. Did we complain about the ghost police? There's no consistent tone. Like, there's one that's just like, <laughs> and then sometimes they'll just be like, <laughs> Will Zondar lead the green militia to destroy the orange army? Will Phil Brickley ever figure out what's so weird about Robophilia? Will Malifios ever destroy the city? No, probably not. Will Sherry ever put her desk back together? That's not really a good question. Find out in Chapter 3, Pirates, coming in sometime in the future. Uh, obviously it's going to be a while before Chapter 3 is complete. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to be producing how to build videos. I'm looking to ramp those up this summer, uh, like I have the past couple summers, to get back to that three a week uh, sort of time frame. I have hundreds and hundreds of how to build requests that I've been saving from all of you over the past uh, couple of years and uh, I'm going to start really looking at those ideas and seeing what I can build and putting up how to build videos for all of you. So after my last animation, Police Show Commercial, uh, I did a contest for uh, all of you to make your own episode of Police Show and uh, we had 10 people who made some really great entries. Uh, if you want to go see them, Click this playlist right here. You can watch all ten. Um, but now, drum roll. Uh, so the winners. So um, I had one grand prize winner who will be getting a fifty dollar Lego gift certificate, and I had five runners up. So I'm going to start with the runners up in no particular order. These were all great films. The Coupon Collector by Backyard Legos. A Job for Malarkey by Lego Guy One One Five Nine. Malarkey's Promotion by Alpha and Olego Studios. Lego Police Show by Silvarsti. Robocop by Hover Frog Films. So please give a big round of applause um, for the five runners up. They will all be getting a $10 Lego gift certificate. And then the grand prize winner of the Police Show Animation Contest is A Friend of the Police by History Lego Man. Um, Many of the runners-up had really great animation. I think they did a really great job of um, fitting into the police show world as well as the overall world of Figuria and the Night in the News at Nine. Um, but I felt that A Friend of the Police had a really great story. It had some great animation. I think the handcuff gun was hilarious as well as the fight scene with all the big Batman words. Um, it just felt like a really coherent, funny, um, story and I just really enjoyed watching it and so that's the one that won um, so yes uh, you should watch all of those videos and uh, give big thumbs up to everyone who entered the contest I know it's a lot of work to make an animation so I'm really grateful for everyone who entered the contest because I know how much work it was um, and so that's why I'm featuring all of them in that playlist on my channel so uh, thank you so much if you liked what you saw you should subscribe Subscribe? Where's the button? Somewhere. Subscribe so you can see all the videos from my channel as soon as they go blah, 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 blah.